In this lecture video, we're going to be looking at statistical models for complete factorial treatment structures. In particular, we're going to be looking at two-factor complete factorial treatment structures. So as we have seen in previous modules, the statistical model for an experiment depends on the design structure of the experiment. Thus far, we have seen three specific experimental designs each possessing a distinct form of the design structure portion of the statistical model. We've seen the completely randomized design, the randomized complete block design, and the Latin square design. Now a statistical model also depends on the treatment structure of the experiment. The full statistical model for an experiment utilizing a two-factor complete factorial treatment structure is obtained by combining the representation of the treatment means given previously with the appropriate design part of the model, which is based on the design structure of the experiment. We're going to look at the form of the statistical model for a two-factor complete factorial treatment structure for various design structures. So the big idea here is that a statistical model, at least a linear statistical model, is composed of a treatment structure and a design structure, and it's the sum of those two components. And as we're going to see, the analysis of variance table corresponds to uh, the structure of the statistical model. Now let's look at the nature of the effects in the treatment structure that we're going to be looking at. So again, we're looking at two-factor complete factorial treatment structures, and I'm going to denote the two factors by A and B. So what is the nature of the effects in the treatment structure? Well, each of factor A and B can either be a fixed effect or a random effect. If either of factor A or factor B is a random effect, then their interaction is also a random effect. Now, corresponding to this, the effects model treatment parameters, the alpha i's, the beta j's, and the alpha beta ij's, can be either fixed effects or random effects. If factor A is a fixed effect, then the alpha i's are fixed effects. If factor A is a random effect, then the alpha i's are random effects. And the same for factor B, uh, its uh, corresponding parameters, the betas, and then uh, the alpha, beta, i, j's. The alpha, i's, the beta, j's, and the alpha, beta, i, j's can be fixed effects or random effects. And if either alpha, i, or beta, j uh, are random effects, then the alpha, beta, i, j's will be random effects as well. Now in the uh, effects model representation of the treatment means, if the treatment effects alpha sub i, beta sub j, and the alpha beta i j's are all fixed effects, then as we've seen previously, the following constraints hold among the various parameters. So the alphas sum to zero, the betas sum to zero, and the alpha beta i j's, if summed over either index, sum to zero as well. On the other hand, if alpha sub i is a random effect, then the standard assumption is that the levels of the alpha sub i's are independent normal random variables with mean zero and variance denoted by uh, sigma squared sub alpha. All right, notationally, we write that as shown here, alpha sub i distributed as, I have that tilde there, that's a, the uh, shorthand notation for is distributed as, a normal random variable with zero mean and variance sigma squared sub alpha. Similarly, if beta j is a random effect, then the standard assumption is that the levels of the beta j's are independent normal random variables as well, with mean zero and variance denoted by sigma squared sub beta. And then finally, if the alpha beta i j's are random effects, then the standard assumption is that uh, their levels are independent normal random variables with mean zero and its own variance, sigma squared sub alpha beta. 
All right, so we're gonna be looking at models where we have a two-factor complete factorial treatment structure. The statistical model consists of the sum of that treatment structure and then a particular design structure. And so now what we're going to do is look specifically at uh, the combination of a two-factor complete factorial treatment structure and a completely randomized design structure. And so this should look familiar from the previous module where we covered completely randomized designs. The statistical model for a balanced, and when we say balanced in this context, we mean equal replication for all treatment combinations. That's the particular situation that we're going to be looking at as we go through this material. So we have equal replication for all treatment combinations. So the statistical model for a balanced two-factor complete factorial treatment structure in a completely randomized design structure can be written using the means model representation as follows. So y i j k equal to mu sub i j plus epsilon i j k. i goes from 1 to a, j goes from 1 to b, and then k goes from 1 to r, where r is the common number of replications for all treatment combinations. And notice that because this is a two-factor treatment structure, we have uh, subscripted uh, the mean there, mu, with uh, two indices, i and j, corresponding to the two factors. And um, you see here the standard assumptions that go along with uh, this model. Now, we can also look at the effects model for this scenario. So the statistical model for a balanced two-factor complete factorial treatment structure, again, in a completely randomized design structure, can be written using the effects model representation uh, in the following way. And so here we have expanded, uh, we've replaced mu sub ij with its representation uh, from the effects model. So y i j k equal to mu plus alpha sub i plus beta j plus alpha beta i j and then plus the error term. So we see here that uh, mu is the overall mean of the treatments, the overall arithmetic mean. Alpha sub i is the effect on the response of the ith level of factor A. Beta sub j is the effect on the response of the jth level of factor B. Alpha beta sub i j is an additional effect on the response of the combination of the ith level of factor A and the jth level of factor B. And then finally, epsilon i j k is the random error associated with the kth experimental unit receiving the ith level of factor A and the jth level of factor B. So this is the effects model representation uh, for this uh, statistical model uh, where we have a, a two-factor complete factorial treatment structure and the design structure is a completely randomized design structure. Now, the assumptions involving the design part of the model, uh, there's only one uh, component here, and that is the random error term, the epsilon ijk. And the assumption here is that these error terms are independent uh, random variables, and in particular, independent normal random variables with mean zero and a variance uh, which is denoted by sigma squared uh, without any kind of a subscript. Okay, next, let's look at the two-factor complete factorial treatment structure combined with a randomized complete block design structure. So the statistical model for a two-factor complete factorial treatment structure in a randomized complete block design structure can be written using the means model representation in the following way. So Y, I, J, K, the measured response on the experimental unit in the kth block receiving the ith level of factor A and the jth level of factor B can be expressed as mu sub ij plus rho sub k plus epsilon ijk. Now in this representation, this means model representation, mu sub ij is the mean response to the ith level of factor A and the jth level of factor B. So that is the notation for the means model representation of 
the treatment combination uh, consisting of the ith level of A and the jth level of B. Rho sub K is the random effect on the response of the kth block. And then epsilon sub IJK is the random error associated with the experimental unit in the kth block receiving the ith level of factor A and the jth level of factor B. We can also represent this model using the effects model representation. And so here again, what we're doing is we are expanding out the mu sub ij into uh, the effects parameters. And so y i j k equal to mu plus alpha sub i plus beta sub j plus alpha beta i j. And so that part is the representation of the uh, treatment mean expressed using effects model uh, parameters. And then we add to that the design part of the model. So we have uh, the de design structure part of the model. So we have plus rho sub k plus epsilon i j k. And so with this uh, representation, mu is the uh, overall arithmetic mean of the treatments. Alpha sub i is the effect on the response of the ith level of factor A. Beta sub j is the effect on the response of the jth level of factor B. And then alpha beta sub ij is an additional effect on the response uh, due to the combination of the ith level of factor A and the jth level of factor B. The assumptions involving the design part of this model, again, this is a randomized complete block design, so the effects, uh, the block effects, the rho sub k's, are independent random variables, where, uh, and in particular, normal random variables, with rho sub k uh, being normally distributed with a mean of zero and a variance uh, denoted by sigma squared sub rho. The model error terms, the epsilon i, j, k's, are independent random variables with the epsilon ijk's being in particular normally distributed independent random variables with mean zero and variance denoted by sigma squared. And then finally, the block effects, the rho, k, rho sub k's and the error terms, the epsilon ijk's, are assumed to be stochastically independent of each other. And so these are the forms of the statistical model when we have a two-factor complete factorial treatment structure, and we've seen these in the context of uh, a couple of different design structures that uh, we're familiar with now. So we'll continue on in the next lecture video.